It was an interesting story how I met Mary Prince. I was 24 when I moved to London and published some of my work in the literary magazine La Belle Assemblée. So while in London, I worked on my poetry and I also worked on some anti-slavery slavery tracks. I was 26. I was 27 when I met Mary. Oh, Mary. Her accent was so different. She said things like Don Durr or Don De Road. And it was hard to understand her at first, but as we met more and more, I felt comfortable with it, and it was actually quite interesting. She was a strong, dynamic woman, and she had quite a story to tell. I felt the truth and pain in her story, and felt that it really needed to be told. Up until this time in history, there are very few stories that were told about women from a woman's point of view. So I felt that it was very important to tell her story. So Miss Betsy, what book are we learning to read today? My new favorite book. It's called The Girl Who Ran Away. Oh. When do we start? No. <laughs> okay. There is a little girl who ran away. She, you want to okay. try reading it? It looks hard. The, the, there was a li little, little girl. girl? Hmm? Uh huh. R ran away? Uh huh. Good job. She ran miles and miles until she found a small cave where she could hide out and sleep. That's a long one. I know. You can do it. She, she ran? Mm hmm. Miles? Yeah. And miles until she found a small cave uh -huh. where, where she could hide out and sleep. Good job, little Molly. Mary. <laughs> she grew scared as the night went on when it started to rain and thunder. And she curled up in a ball in a blanket as she cried herself to sleep. This is hard. It's okay, I can keep teaching you. You'll get it, I promise. Miss Betsy, what if Massa finds out that I'm Betsy, learning? Betsy, Mary, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing Nothing, Mary? nothing. What are you doing? Like, are you seriously teaching her how to read? No, Massa. I can't believe you would have her how to read. You will never understand the pain I'm going through. I just want to learn how to read. I just want to be free. I just am gonna be a good for nothing slave. I guess this is the life, my life, as Mary Prince. Mr. John Wood. Yeah. Sir, yeah. I hear you're going to Antigua, sir. Can I come with you, sir? I am. I'm very busy preparing for this trip. I mean, it's a lot of work still to be done. What do I need you for? I can do your laundry. I can take care of your children. You can. I can do a bit of farming. Can you please buy me from my master? What's your master's name? Mrs. D. I mean, I hear they're a pretty rough crowd over there, but... They I treat mean, me bad, sir. They beat me. They whip me, sir. Can you please take me with you? Are you sure she'll sell you? Please, sir, can we go over and ask her, sir? I can manage to be with you, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Good afternoon. Wood. Mary? Your slave, Mary Prince, has come to me asking to come with me on a trip that I'm taking to Antigua. Antigua? Miss D, Miss D, please, can I go with Mr. John Wood? You don't really want me, Miss D. You say I'm a problem. Please let me go. I'm willing to buy your slave from you. She could be of good use to me, really. Well, if you're willing to buy her from me... I definitely am. I could let her go. Thank you, Miss D. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stop! You don't deserve for me to stop. Master, stop! Stop! No! Okay, I'll take care of you. Okay, I'm just gonna hide you over here, okay? I'll go get you some food. 
<laughs> hey, what, what what are you doing over here? You know, I can't take no, no, it no, no. anymore. You know, for, you know, for running away, he's gonna no, beat you even harder. Come on, we gotta know. Don't we take need me to go. Back. We need to go. No, come on. Don't Mary. take me back. We, we have to, he'll beat you even no. worse. No, come on, we, we need to go back. Okay? No, go back. No. Captain Nigo, I'm, I'm sorry she ran away. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. She's, she's back now. She's back. So you, you ain't, you ain't got to beat her no more. You decided to she, come back, she, did you? Can't, you ain't got to beat her no more. She, she's back, okay? I can't what? take this anymore. You, you gave know, me you too need much legs. I can't take it. I'm not going to take it anymore. You should be lucky if she's even considering taking you back, slave. Just please, please, please. Take it, take, take it back. She take it back. She, she, she won't do it again. I promise. She won't. Just no. All right. You better get back to work, or else I'll do something else even worse to you. Get back to work. Get back to work.